Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our review forums videos here from JVC's headquarters in North London. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the HD100 projector and its new anamorphic lens and sled assembly developed by TW Marketing. Sandy, one of the reasons we're here at JVC headquarters is to have a look at the HD100 with its new anamorphic lens option, uh, which was developed by TNW Marketing. So maybe you can explain from a JVC perspective what that brings to the product. Well, the HD100 has always been aimed at the custom install market, and a very important part of that market is the true widescreen 2.35 to 1 range. So with our relationship with TNW Marketing, we've been able to provide a very neat, very compact solution that will do just that. So now we can cover all of the picture ratios and achieve what we aim to do with the projector which is to give a true cinematic performance. So I'm with Bruno Verhana from TNW Marketing, the inventor of the uh, anamorphic system for the HD100. It's one of the main reasons why we're here in London today. Um, so maybe you can just explain uh, what research and development you went into to develop this lens. Yeah. Hello, well, inventing the anamorphic maybe is a little bit too much said. Uh, what we did is we customized an anamorphic solution for the HD100, and that makes the system unique. What we do is we use an existing lens. In this case, it's uh, the Schneider lens that we use. It's an existing lens on an existing projector. But the trick on anamorphic solutions is how do you combine these two products? Everybody can buy a Schneider lens, everybody can buy a projector, but how to set it up in a proper way? And this is the challenge, this is the difficulty. If you have a complete freestanding system, then you're overwhelmed with degrees of freedom and you can turn the lens all around, except in the right way. What we did is we designed mechanics that fits right on this projector and that made sure that the lens is in the proper place. And by doing this, we limit the number of degrees of freedom, the number of adjustments. And that makes it easy for the installer to install a widescreen installation with a GVC 100. And this ensures also that you have the best possible image using this image, uh, using this lens on this projector. The reason why you can't use a fixed lens, a fixed wide screen lens on a projector is sometimes you still need the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. By moving out the lens, then you produce the native 16 by 9 image. There are still a lot of movies and broadcasts that are made in 16 by 9 and you don't want to spoil resolution on this one. That's the reason why you still need the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But as soon as you go to the real Hollywood movies, then you change aspect ratio. Then you change to a 2.35 by 1. And it's a shame if people invested in a very nice high-end projector with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, that they have again these black bars on bottom and top uh, when they watch a Hollywood movie. And that's the reason why you have to make sure that the lens always comes in place and always comes in place in exactly the same place. And this is what these mechanics make sure. So what difficulties did you have in developing this product and are you happy with your end result or do you think there'll be a, a Mark II or a Mark III or a Mark IV? The biggest problem I had with, uh, with the development was the performance of the projector. I really had to find a solution that matched the performance of the projector in similar ways, in, in different ways. One of the challenges is this GVC projector has a huge vertical of axis position. So you can shift the lens really way up. And this is where a lot of anamorphic lenses fail. And most of the amorphic anamorphic solutions you really have to position the projector in an on-axis position. That means that your projector is in the center of your image. In this solution, I looked and I found a solution where you can really shift the image 
to a vertical of axis position, really up to the maximum vertical of axis position, and still have a very good quality of image and a 2.35 aspect ratio. And this is the biggest challenge in making anamorphic systems. So if someone buys an HD uh, 100 projector from JVC, or any projector for that matter, why should they go anamorphic? What's, what's the big draw with anamorphic projection? Just one word, emotion. It's all about emotion. If you watch a movie in 16 by 9, then you have a certain feeling of that image. I always call this, you watch a movie. If you watch a Hollywood movie, then suddenly you have these boring black bars, top and bottom. And this is where it gets rid of it, if you really close the lens. Then suddenly the magic comes up, you open your screen and you watch a full 2.35 by 1 movie. You're no longer watching a movie, you're experiencing Hollywood. And this is the difference between using an anamorphic solution or not. So Neil, the, the reason we're here in London is to have a look at the HD100 and the new anamorphic lens, which has been developed by TNW Market. And, um, how much work's gone into developing this? Well, as you've already spoken to Bruno, Phil, um, there was a huge amount of work went into it, not only to develop the lens solution, of course, um, but also to develop all the documentation and the training materials that go along with that to ensure that installers can install the lens and make sure that we have the best possible picture quality. And um, I mean, why develop such an item? Is there really such a, uh, a wide market for anamorphic projection these days? Well, really, we've, we've seen quite clearly that anamorphic projection is, is the future. Um, everyone who has seen one of our demos of anamorphic projection has always been totally, totally blown away by it, as I'm sure you have as well over the last couple of days. Um, the problem that people have always had has been the entry level into anamorphic projection has been extremely high or has been little more than DIY solutions. So through working with JVC um, and creating the cinema widescreen lens solution, um, we've now made it possible for installers uh, to buy not only a projector, but also a dedicated lens option, which is easy to install for the installer um, at a, a reasonable price uh, for the general public to buy as well and have installed in their homes. I think looking to the future, we want to very much stay in touch with the custom install market. We want to improve further on the performance of, of the projector, maybe to, uh, to enhance the colour side of things. I find it difficult to imagine how much better we can go in contrast. And if it in fact is a real benefit to the consumer, then enhancing the contrast further, it's already a market leading contrast ratio. So I would see that we would perhaps like to make it a bit smaller, maybe a little bit more stylish. Uh, and really, it's going to be a matter of fine tuning. I don't think we will ever be able to do what we did with the HD1, which is to have a really groundbreaking uh, development. But now it's a case of developing what we have, uh, enhancing DILA uh, technology, and also perhaps widening that out into the general market. So our thanks to the guys at TNW Marketing and JVC for giving us an exclusive look at the new cinema widescreen system. If you're interested in the HD100 or the anamorphic system, then it is available now from authorised JVC HD100 dealers. This is Phil Hinton saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming soon.